Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for those new here, hi, my name is Jenny and I'm an osteopathic medical student. I'm about to graduate and I just wanted to come here to share with you some of the things that I'm doing to get ready for residency. So I also think that some of the stuff that I'm using and purchasing are also very um, useful for those who are med students going through their third and fourth year clerkships. Um, so yeah, let's get started. So the first thing that I bought was a Calm Bank or the Calm Bank. It's just a test question bank where I can do questions to study for um, the step exam. And for those who don't know, board ex every medical student has to take board exams. You take the first board exam after your second year of med school. You take your third after the end of third year, beginning of fourth year of med school. And then you take your last board exam in your first year of residency. So I always believe that active studying is a lot better than passive studying. And I know from personal experience that I always need to do questions. So I bought them early just because there was a discount and um, I don't know if they'll have the discount later, but you activate them three months prior to taking your exam and then you could start going through the questions. There's like a year long subscription where you can do them throughout the year, but I just didn't have the money for that, so I just bought the three months. So they have this saying about board exams, you study two months for step one, two weeks for step two, and you just need a number two pencil for step three. So I'm hoping that all the clinical experiences and all the work that I'll be putting in throughout my intern year will set me up for this board exam. But yeah, just in case, I wanna do all the test questions that I can. And it's also cool because they have this app. So they have this app called TrueLearn, and it's just, you can do your questions from your bank and all that stuff and just on your phone and it's nice to do like five or ten questions here and there on your break. So yeah, that was the first thing I bought. The second thing that I purchased was this pocket medicine. You guys might have seen older versions of it. It's been, I've seen green ones and purple ones. This orange one is just the 2017 version and this is really good for internal medicine. So I have a list here of a lot of the common things that patients get admitted for like pneumonia, CHF, septicemia, cardiac arrhythmias and MIs, renal failure, COPD exacerbations, things like that. So I can write a list of all these um, different things in the description box if you guys like but hopefully I can go through this and so basically what this book does is outlines everything you need to do for each disease process so it gives you management treatment um, diagnostic testing and all the things that you should order and what you should be looking for and all that stuff so this would be a really good book if you're interested in internal medicine or if you just want to excel in your internal medicine um, rotation this was highly recommended it's i also got this on amazon and then next, I got this. I know a lot of med students have this, but I just didn't have it yet. A lot of nurses as well. It's just a clipboard that folds up so it can fit in your white coat. So I bought this because um, usually when you're rounding, you print out the sheet of all your patient information and stuff, and it's good because it folds and it fits right into your white coat pocket. Um, good for HIPAA, and it just keeps all your paper paper is organized. It's kind of pricey. It's like $30 for this thing, but I feel like I'll get good use out of it. And in the back, it just has like different tables and stuff. There's a nursing one as well. Like there's ones with different stickers on the back. There's one geared towards nursing. There's one geared towards pulmonology. So you can take your pick. I just picked um, the medical version. And then and then the last thing that I got, surprise, surprise, another first aid book. Um, this is geared for step three. And as I said in my previous video about how I studied in med school, I wish that I used it more during my, um, so I wish that I used it more during my systems because I felt like I had such great notes 
that weren't organized into the book that I wish, like just clinical pearls, I guess, that I wish I wrote down into the book so I could reference them later. So I feel like now that I bought this book, like if I go through certain rotations and I want to write notes down, that I'll have a place to put them. Um, that when I do get a chance to study for the boards, it'll be all organized and color coordinated and all in one place. So I'm glad I got this. I'm not going to start studying actually for boards anytime soon. But if I want to be a gunner and read before any of my rotations, I will definitely open. This is my first resource. So that's all I have. That's everything I bought and how I'm going to prepare for my intern year coming up in a couple weeks. I will link everything I bought in the description box down below and I also write a list of all the things that I will be looking over before my intern year. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Have any comments, leave them in the description box down below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.